All right, so I'm back in a tree and I think you know what that means. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. It's time for a one day build. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a YouTube clone using Flutter. And uh, yeah, I'm back in a tree. Maybe I should make this like the standard intro for my channel. Anyway, let's go. Alright, so like I said at the start, it's time for another one day build and I'm really excited about this one because it feels like it's been ages since I did one last. So it kind of feels like it's time to do another one. And uh, today what we're going to do is, again like I said, a uh, YouTube clone using Flutter. And uh, this idea for this one day builds is essentially 100% stolen from Adam Savage because he has a YouTube channel as well where he does one day builds and that's where I got the idea from. So if you enjoy these videos, then you'll probably enjoy his videos as well. So I definitely recommend checking those out. Hopefully it can inspire you to code something out on your own, or you can use the code that I've written, which I'll upload to GitHub, and then you can use that for your own app if you have an app idea with a UI that's gonna be similar to YouTube's then you can basically use my code to get you started. So that's kind of the idea, and now let's get started. All right, so this is what we're gonna build. Uh, we're gonna build the YouTube app, like I've said, uh, but we're gonna focus on two different parts of the YouTube app, which is this tab here, which is the subscriptions tab. And we're also gonna focus on the home tab, uh, which is this tab, which looks like this for me. And uh, the reason that I wanted to focus on these ones is because there's something very useful that we can uh, that I can showcase here with Flutter, which is that you can create widgets that are then reusable. So if you have something that occurs a lot in your app, then you can create a widget for that and then you can reuse that thing instead of having to rebuild it every time or code it out every single time you, ha you have to use it. So for instance here, uh, what, that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a widget for each video. It doesn't really matter if you're at the subscriptions tab or at the home tab, a video will look the same either way, which is that it will have a couple of different components to it, like an image, the thumbnail of the video, the channel profile picture, the channel name, the title of the video, how many views it's got and how long ago it was uploaded. So all of those things are the same for both videos in um, the subscriptions tab and also in the home tab and for that we can create a widget and then we can reuse that in both those places so that's what we're going to do and uh, we're also going to build everything else up we're going to essentially make these two tabs and we're going to try to do that in one day right now it's 12 42 pm and i have to be done by like six all in all it should take about one day to do so uh, now i'm just going to build out basically a tab bar here with different tabs and the main ones that we're going to focus on in this is the subscriptions tab and the home tab. So I'm going to build that out and then I'll get back. All right, so now what I've done is I've created this tab bar here. Um, I've changed the icons to look somewhat similar to uh, the actual app. And since Google is the one that provides this framework, the most of the icons actually look exactly the same, except for the subscriptions icon, which I think they probably have the same one somewhere. I just didn't find it. And it's not super important that they, those are exactly the same. But anyway, I've done this part of it. So now we have the background colors correct. The color of the tabs are correct and uh, icons, all that stuff is should be the same as this YouTube app. And now if we press subscriptions, we get to this tab um, here, which is just gray again. And you can also swipe between the different tabs, which I don't think you can do in the YouTube app. Let me just check. No, you can't do that in the, in the actual YouTube tab or the actual YouTube app but it's a feature that I really like is being able to swipe between the different uh, parts of an app. So uh, that's why I kind of like to have that in here. 
Anyway, we so now we're gonna get started on actually building out this part. So uh, a YouTube or a video, essentially a recommended video or a subscription video, a video card. I'm gonna call it actually. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna build out. Uh, we're gonna figure out kind of how to build it because in Flutter, basically what I usually use is a combination of a container, columns, and rows. So this whole thing would probably be within a container and then within that container you could have separate columns so a column is basically just something that goes up and down like this now i'm gonna create a widget that's going to be reusable that we can then produce these uh, videos in our feed All right so that's the next thing one thing that I just wanted to show you quickly is um, just kind of what uh, how I go about this. So I've created this um, widget class here uh, in a separate file in my views folder. And I'm not super comfortable with the MVC protocol or like architecture for building apps, but I think that this is how you do it. So, uh, and that's not super important for this video, but what I've added here is a video card widget. What we need to do now is we need to figure out what does our video card need to know in order to be created. All right, so now what I've done is I've created two different classes. One class is for a channel, and uh, what the channel has is the channel name, profile picture, and that's all that we're going to really need for this uh, video today. And uh, then I've created a, a constructor here so that we provide the name of the channel. And uh, then I've created another class called video uh, that has a thumbnail, view count, upload date, video title, and a channel. So then when you create this, you have to provide the thumbnail, view count, upload date, and video title, and then the channel. And this would be very similar to how it would work uh, in the actual app, I would guess. Uh, they get some data back from the database that probably contains specific details for the actual video, so a video class. And uh, that would also contain, other than this, it would actually contain the video, I would, I would guess. So that's what we've got. And now we can use that for our video card here. So we can actually uh, say that we have a field here called final video and that's going to be video like so and then this takes a video video and the way that you do that is you do this this dot video and then we just import all right so now we can just go ahead and use this video so uh, if we do video here dot and then you can see that we can access all the different things that we would want from a video the channel the thumbnail upload date etc from the channel we can then get the channel name and the profile picture so that's kind of how we're going to do it and now i'm just going to create this uh, widget and then we're going to showcase it see how it looks and then we're going to go ahead and try to do uh, some of the other stuff for the youtube app as well but so far, so good. Uh, this is going faster than I thought. Probably shouldn't say that because then I'll run into some bug. But right now it's running really smoothly. So, so far, so good. So let's start with creating the widget. All right, so now I've uh, basically finished the video card here. So we can see this is uh, the code for it. I will be uploading this to GitHub so that you can and add a link to that in the description so that you can kind of check it out there if you want, if you want to get more specific into like how I actually did this. So I created a couple models here, the channel and the video. And then what I did also in the video uh, class is that I created a couple methods, get view count, because if you go to YouTube, you can see that uh, here on this one, on this particular video, it has 4.4K views. So it doesn't actually display the number, it actually changes the number uh, depending on how many views it has. So if it has just under a thousand views, then it will display the entire number. So if it has like 999 views, it will display 999. And anything above that, it will display 
uh, the thousand and then point and then the hundreds. So here you can see it has 4.4K views, which is 4,400 views. So it just kind of shortens that up. And it does the same for 1 million views and 1 billion views. So uh, that's kind of what I created here, a method that just compresses that and adds the B and the M and the K for the different metrics. I've added some assets here for different images for thumbnails and for profile pictures. So I am basically just got a di couple different potential thumbnails here and one profile picture uh, that we're going to use. And uh, then what I'm doing in the main part of the app is I just create essentially a method here that gets videos which is similar to how it would work in the actual YouTube app. It would make a call though to the backend server, however they do that. They would, it would make a call to the backend that would then fetch all the videos, uh, the relevant videos, and then it would create the cards based on what it gets back. But we, we don't have a backend right now, so we're just gonna have to manually create the videos. We do that here in make videos. So we created a method that basically just create a couple different videos. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run this and see what it looks like. It probably won't look great <laughs> and uh, might not even work. First go. So we'll see what this looks like or what the problem is. All right. So that was a really simple mistake that I made. I just forgot. I typed in instead of zero here as the first index uh, and one as the second index, I typed in one and two, which is an easy mistake to make. I think it's still a little bit of a weird mistake for me to make, but anyway, should be good now. Yeah. Okay. So that's, uh, that actually works and it looks pretty good. I think the only problem is that each image is not uh, like it's overflowing. What we wanted to do is we wanted to basically crop the image so that it fits on the screen. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fix that so that those are the same. And then I also see that the views, this method that I thought was really good, uh, doesn't actually do the changing of the views. But other than that, it looks pretty much exactly the same as this, uh, the real YouTube app. So I'm pretty happy. But now I'm just going to fix that and then uh, we'll see if we can fix the view count as well. All right, so now I've got everything working. Uh, so the video card pretty much is looking exactly like uh, the actual YouTube app. So depending on the amount of views, it will get uh, changed like this. We can actually test that by just changing the amount of views here. So let's change that to 120. And as you can see, it says 120 views here. Uh, let's change it to 120,000 and run that. And uh, it also says how long ago it was posted. I've fixed that. So now it says one month ago. If we change that to uh, 11 days, then it should say one week ago, I think. Yeah, so it says one week ago. Uh, if we go below seven days, it will say six days, six days ago. If it's only one day, it will say one day ago, not days. So it changed to one day ago. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to come back and fix the top part of this app. Me 
All right, so I'm back. And now uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to build out this top part here. And the way, what I'm thinking that I'll do is I'll make a another widget that's essentially gonna be just the channel, uh, the profile thing here for the channel. And then I'll make a widget for this as well because there's also a, uh, bar like that on the home page as you can see here so that can be a widget so that's what i'm gonna do and uh, i'll get back to you when i'm done all right so now it is all done uh we have the subscriptions bar up here with the, the channels that you're subscribed to. Right now, this is just a implementation of it. You can add as many channels as you want. Then you have this scrollable list here of uh, different tags, as I called them, uh, but basically things that you can press and you'll get videos based on that. And then we have a list here of different videos. Uh, if I scroll this, it kind of, the, the app sort of breaks, but I think that's due to the Android emulator and not actually my my app. I hope, but I'm not, not quite sure. I'm gonna try to like reinstall or rebuild an emulator and just see if that kind of helps. I don't know, I've never had this issue before when I've done it on Mac, but now this breaks down for some reason anyway and then we have the home tab which looks like this which again is just reusing that widget of uh, the video card and then we have again the same thing here we're reusing the widget of the tags showing us the same things here this is something that you can change as well to make it specific tags for this specific thing and yeah so that's this one done and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out it looks exactly the same to me as the YouTube app. So I'm super happy with it. I'm gonna upload it, like I said, to GitHub so that you guys can check it out as well and download it and take a look. Hopefully this might help someone kind of get started with um, an app that they wanna build that's kind of got a similar layout to uh, the YouTube app. And yeah, this was uh, this was really fun. And it was, uh, I feel like I get more and more comfortable with Flutter the more that I kind of work with it. And especially like integrating separate widgets for different things so that you can reuse that. That makes your work so much easier. So I cannot recommend that enough. All right, so that's this one day build done and dusted. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. I feel like it looks pretty much exactly the same as the YouTube app for those two pages, uh, which I'm really happy with. It's really cool that you can build something like that out in Flutter super easily. That's something that I'm also pretty happy about. I started at 12.40 and I finished at about 7-ish, uh, which, I mean, that's a super quick build to build something like that out, uh, to, for me at least, I would say. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that this kind of gave you some inspiration for building something out on your own or maybe even trying this out yourself. I really do recommend using Flutter because to me it just seems, it works seamlessly, it works really well, I mean, and uh, I have a hard time seeing myself going back into ever doing native development because Flutter just works so well. And like you see, like you saw, you can build something like this out super easily once you know a little bit of it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.